As International America graduates or student, it's not that easy to find a mentor. Depends of your background or where you came from. You're going to have a different experience and different challenges for finding your mentor. Some of you came from a place where you have a network of mentorship or you have a mentorship system or program in your school or you know in your area or your environment a bunch of people that have made interested in the United States or so. However, some of you are entire opposite. You don't have a, mentors, a mentorship system in your school. You don't have any mentorship network. You don't know anybody that made it in the United States or even involved in this USMLE journey, US wrestling journey, and so. Let me promote myself in a shameless way. If you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel. Also, I have Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and more social media. You can check it out. I have the same username and also I have the link all of my social media in the description box below. Let's jump to the video. What is a mentor? What type of characteristics and qualities I'm looking for? A spill the digger. <laughs> A mentor is an experienced and knowledgeable individual, in this case, med student that is ahead of you or physician, who provides guidance, support, and provides to a less experienced person, aka like us. Here's the thing. Mentor and mentorship journey is like dating. You have to find the perfect match that is accommodate to your needs. You need to find a mentor that understands you. You have to find a mentor that understands your journey, where you're coming from, where you add, and truly understand where you want to go and your goals. I remember when I was looking for my perfect mentor or my perfect match. I even tried a paid service mentorship that I found online. And to be honest, you know, in my first try, it didn't work. I tried here and there, but I didn't feel that spark. I didn't feel that connection. I didn't feel like all these mentors really understand me, where I came from, my background, and all my challenges and everything. It was a kind of disconnection between us until I found my mentor. And it was kind of funny about it because she was helped me out a lot during my journey and I still have helped me out, to be honest and with a lot of stuff, not just with my SML journey, with everything. If I have any question related to this process, I was asking to her. She was ahead of me. At this moment, she got into medical residence, shout out to her, and we saw like, how she started helping me out here and there, and one day she was like, I stopped the girl, like, and your mentor. We didn't realize until she told me, like, wait, I'm your mentor. And I was like, yeah, you're my mentor. That was the type of connection. Like, we started just talking. We started building a relationship because mentorship is a relationship. You have to build a relationship that's going to take time and a lot of stuff, like a normal relationship. Where can you find your mentor? Let's go to basic. I feel like your first step should be identify your needs. Before seeking a mentor, identify what you hope to gain from the mentorship. Are you looking for advice on exam preparation, residence application, or career pathways? Knowing your needs will help you find a mentor whose expertise aligns with your goals. Networking, attend medical conference, workshops, and seminars to connect with professionals in your field. Network is, networking events provide an opportunity to meet potential mentors and build relationships with them.
Utilize online platforms. Join online platforms, communities, forums, and social media groups focused on medical professionals and international medical graduates. Platforms like Facebook and Reddit can connect you with mentors who are willing to share their experience and knowledge. For example, I have a friend that found a really good mentor on Facebook. They were on a Facebook group, they were chatting in the comment section, then they chat through Facebook Messenger, and oh my God, it was the perfect match. And they didn't know each other until these days, and that was a couple of years ago, and my friend got into family medicine. Local Medical Association. Check if there are local medical associations or organizations for international medical graduates in your area. These groups often have mentorship programs or can help connect you with experienced professionals. Educational institution. If you are pursuing further education or training, such as medical resident, inquire about mentorship programs offered by your institution. Attend workshops and seminars. Many medical schools and institutions offer workshops and seminars on different topics. Attending these events can help you meet new physicians or med students ahead of you in your field who may be willing to mentor you. For example, I know a bunch of institutions and hospitals in the U.S. They have like an open house activities, which is before the match season. So the different candidates can reach out and talk with um, the physicians and attending in the hospital. So you can attend over there. You don't have necessary to apply for this match cycle. You can just show up and go there i mean they have a bunch of zoom and zoom zoom meeting and a lot of like online meetings where they present their program they talk about their program and they have a bunch of open house for different specialty i haven't seen for family medicine internal medicine surgery and more and you go there and you listen about their program, you can ask questions, and you can create connections in a future place that you might apply. So there's a good opportunity. Um, I know this type of open house activities is before match, aka, um, you know, like match activities. I mean, match activities before the match is called open house, until my knowledge, and it's usually between the summer, July up to September. And they they promote their activity, their open house activity open house activities. Um, I have I haven't seen uh, this type of promotion on Twitter and Instagram, WhatsApp group and more. So take a look about this open house activity before match. Also, Project ING, which is an institution that helps international medical graduate through all this process, have like um, events, international events in different parts of the planet. And also they have a big event in New York during summer. I'm going to leave the link in the description box about this institution. I know you have to pay a certain amount of money, but it's not that expensive, until my knowledge. And you can go and meet people over there. Let's get into how to approach to your future mentor or a potential mentor. Reach out. Once you have identified potential mentors, don't hesitate to reach out to them. Send a personalized message, explain your background, goals, and why you are interested in connecting with them as a mentor. I remember I went to a seminar about stress and how to deal with all this USML journey and pressure and in general, how to deal with stress in daily life. And I was part of the seminar. I found it through Twitter, 
for free to be honest you can find a lot of stuff about twitter that's why i made a video about my twitter you can check around the channel also i'm gonna leave this the description i mean i'm gonna leave the link in the description box below but i found this uh seminar about stress and daily life and you know i attended i I was in the meeting, everything, and after the meeting, I sent an email to one of the person, one of the persons that were in, were in charge of the seminar, and we have been back and forth chat in email, and you know that is a type of networking. And I know because sometimes I send an email, like for example for Christmas and that type of festivities. And we have a kind of relationship. And that is a person that I didn't know. That was a, a physician that I didn't know. I just went to that seminar. And in the end of the, of the seminar, they say, oh, you have any question? Email me. And I email her. And we have a, a kind of connection. So don't hesitate to reach out. Show appreciation. Remember that mentors are taking time out of their busiest time to help you. Express gratitude and appreciation for their guidance and support. Respect their time. Understand that mentors have their own commitments. Be respectful of their time and make the most of the opportunity you have to learn from them. Types of mentors. I was reading an article uh, about type of mentors that I found in Inside the Match. This is a platform and you can go there and really find a bunch of stuff related about everything and anything related to this journey. I'm gonna also link in the, the link in the description box below. I'm gonna leave a couple of links here and there, okay? So I like this article cause they split like mentor in mentor one, two, and three. It like depends on the phase or your mentor um, stage, for example. Mentor one, the peer mentor, they call the peer mentor. Find someone who is a year or two above you in training. These mentors are valuable because it is unlikely to have a dramatic shift in the pathway between years. So they will help you navigate the short-term hurdles like balancing a school and pursuing your specialty of interest. Men men mentor two, the resident mentor. These mentors are available to guide your clinical years as you start investigating programs, navigating sub internships, and figuring out how to make your clinical dreams come true. Mentor three, the attending mentor. These mentors are valuable because while they are more removed from a school and resident, they can reflect on their own journey and see the different challenges to, to overcome, which help you as you make the transition in each stage. In <laughs> what I'm saying, in e in each stage of training. Ultimately, a mentor acts as an advisor and role model, helping the man to reach their full potential and achieve success in their chosen path. The mentor-mentee relationship is a symbiotic one, benefiting both parties through knowledge of change, personal growth, and the satisfaction of helping someone else succeed.